Darch. Big hands, big rings, title rings, Lakers. Step on up and get your jewelry. Uh, John, those rings have secret compartments. Rachel Nichols reported that. Like you can open it up, put things in. There's LeBron, good at basketball, proud uh, to begin it at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. This was the scene. Championship banner. That will not be unveiled until fans are allowed back to watch NBA action. They'll see us waving from such great heights. Come down now, they'll say. Bucci, Maine. Kenny isn't sedated. He burned more sage than he thought pre-show. He's extra zen. Just to get things right. Jupiter, Saturn, everything in its right place. And the NBA is now taking place. That's right. We get to see Kevin Durant play basketball again. Remember, he suffered that ruptured Achilles. Game 5, NBA Finals 2019. Playing basketball, Kyrie's his teammate. Steph Curry back, injury plague year for him and the organization. Steve Nash era underway. Lots going on in Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Take me in. And Kevin Durant rocking the suburbs just like Quiet Riot did. Durant was one of two from three. Only shot two of them. You saw the make. There's the mid-range game. Efficient game from Durant. Played 25 minutes, 7 of 16 from the floor. Kyrie came out red hot. He'd have a big game tonight in 25 minutes. He had 26 points, 10 of 16 from the floor, 4 of 7 shooting threes. Nets shot the ball very well, 43% from three. As Durant and Kyrie come out smoking. We mentioned the Warriors did not play well. Kelly Oubre put back slam, but overall he was not good. He was 3 of 14 overall in this game. Durant, so silky. 18 months off, looking great. Kyrie with the left. I'd give my left arm to be ambidextrous. Look at the first quarter for Durant and Irving outscoring the Warriors. No Draymond Green, sore foot to make matters even worse. We mentioned the shooting was brutal for the Warriors. Brad Wanamaker is on the wing here, and uh, oh. Steph will take that himself. Curry was 7 of 21 from the floor. Did not shoot threes well. He was 2 of 10. We mentioned they need Oubre to shoot well, but he didn't. He missed all six of his threes. That was a two, I am aware. Uh, it's still a 16-point game here. We can make a run late second half. Moving the ball around, but again, overall, the Warriors were 30% uh, from three. League average is like 35.5%. You're just saying that. So you want to be at least that. Brooklyn was well over that. There's Durant again. This is all first half action here. 31 feet from the R. I like an R, please. Whoa. Recreational. 24 points in the first half for Kyrie. It was 63-45 at the break. Remember, the Nets have DeAndre Jordan. Boom. Put that one in. Two of three. He doesn't mind shooting. 11 rebounds in the game, four points. Durant can still dunk tall. Reports Kenny Mayne. Former Sonic. Former Sonic. Former Thunder. Former Warrior. Load the car and write the note. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Uh, they took care of Golden State. They win by 26. Irving and Durant came to play on both ends of the floor. They combined for 48 points. Uh, again, very efficient. 10 of 16 Kyrie, 7 of 16 Durant. Uh, also on defense, good, holding the Warriors, who shot terribly. Uh, they defended at 14 points on 16 shots. And the Warriors shot 20% when contested by Irving and the long Durant. Let's hear the two superstars talk. I know there's a lot of emotions and a lot of, you know, I got so many calls and texts about, you know, playing again. For me, I was just like, yo, what? I got to focus on the first possession, for, you know, and then try to get through that and then move on each possession. So I try not to make too much, of, too big of a deal out this whole thing and, you know, realize I've been playing this game since I was eight years old. So I just got to revert back to what I know. It's been a long journey to get here and to be able to master this craft and to learn that it's not just about hero basketball. It's about how great the team is. And, you know, I think I got caught up in that in my career a few times of just trying to play hero basketball where, you know, the team success is really going to dictate how great you are as an individual um, and how great you play your role. So, you know, being here at that, th this present moment, I'm enjoying that and I'm embracing it. 
um, you know, not really doing too much talking. It's just really about the action. Let's go out there and, and throw the ball in the air and let's see who's the best of the best. You know, as a young player, you, you think that scoring a bunch of points and doing a bunch of things, getting individual accolades are, are great, you know, and, and you, you, I, excuse me, I definitely was going after those things. And now I, I really don't care for any of those individual accolade, accolades or goals. You know, it really doesn't bother me. I know I'm validated culturally, you know, and that's all that matters. I don't need a all NBA. I don't need an MVP. I just want a championship with a great team that I can look back on history and say, we, we did it our way and we had fun doing it. You know, I'm in year 10. All I want to do is enjoy every single day. I'm, I'm playing basketball and coming into work. Other than that, you know, I live my life with my family, and that's, that's the most important thing to me. Tim Legler with opening night commentary. We're not paying you the big money to analyze the 11th man on the bench. Let's just go to the marquee guys right out of the gate. Kyrie, what did you like about his play? Kyrie was sensational. I think he's in a comfort zone right now because he's played his best basketball in his career when he's had another star next to him that takes on most of the attention and responsibility of leadership. I think that's where he was in a really good zone in Cleveland next to LeBron James, and he is back there now with a Kevin Durant. And what it allows Kyrie Irving to do is just go play basketball and be himself because he knows ultimately there is another guy out there that can clean up anything that he needs to clean up. So the margin for error is much greater now for Kyrie Irving than it was when he was in Boston or when he was in Brooklyn for that short time before Kevin Durant got there when it was really all on him. And he had to have all the answers after every game, all the accountability, all the responsibility. It's different when there's another superstar next to you that's a little bit higher on the food chain, which Kevin Durant is. And that's what you saw at Kyrie tonight. He was relaxed. Uh, and his greatness shows when he's in that situation because there's no denying the talent that he has offensively. He was sensational, and, and combined with Kevin Durant, it was just too much for Golden State, too yeah. much of an onslaught tonight. We couldn't take it for granted that Kevin Durant was going to look the way he did. That's a big injury he came back from, had to work hard to rehab. He looked really smooth out there. Yeah, he did, and I saw enough of him in the preseason, just the way he was moving, planting, cutting, jumping, his quickness, his explosiveness to the rim. He looked 100% to me in the preseason, and he certainly looked that way again in this one. And we look, when you've got two star offensive players and they come out and play that well together at the same time, you're going to get a, a lopsided win, and that's what happened in this one. It wasn't competitive from really the end of the first quarter on. And the one thing about Kevin Durant, there's no answer for him. No matter what you have defensively, what your personnel is, what your scheme is, He's too long, his handle's too good, and his shooting stroke is too good. He can always get to a spot and go over the top, even when you play him well. That's what you saw tonight. And with Kevin Durant on your roster, and he's 100% healthy the way he looked tonight, this team immediately gets thrust into a contender status, not just for the Eastern Conference, but potentially to win the whole thing. They've got that much talent. They've got that much depth. They've got some things to figure out along the way, and obviously Steve Nash is going to get better as the season goes on. But make no mistake about it, the Brooklyn Nets are on the scene. They're in the mix, and they're, they're legit. And, and Kevin Rant and Kyrie Irving, at least for a game, certainly looked like they were having fun playing together. Tim Legler, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the start of the NBA season. We hope to get you back in this building one day soon. For sure. Well, good seeing Steph Curry play basketball again. 20 points, uh, 10 assists. He's going to try to do as much as he can for these Warriors. They shot the ball just brutally. Wiggins, 4 of 16, and Oubre, 3 of 14. Steph, back in the NBA. I think we got a little frustrated with our shots not falling in the first quarter. We had some good looks, um, and, and you know, missed a bunch of them. And it kind of deflated us a little bit. And that, in turn, took our edge off on the defensive end. And against a team like that, they're going to expose you if you don't apply any pressure. And you look up six minutes left, you're down double digits. You knew it was going to be a tough task if you let them get off to a good start like that. And kind of the rest was history. Didn't like our level of, of competition. You know, it just felt like we were um, out there in the first half. And uh, I actually thought that we would compete harder and play better defense. and, and uh, and we didn't do that. We didn't get into their airspace in the first half. Uh, and they've got guys who can, uh, you know, pull up off the dribble and score. And uh, kept both Kevin and Kyrie really uh, just kind of had their way in that first half. So the, the lack of physicality and, and um, 
competition um, was the, the most disappointing thing. 19-year-old James Weissman, by the way, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 7 of 13 shooting, made his only 3 attempt as well, so he was good in 24 minutes in his first NBA game. As Steph mentioned, the Warriors were down, never recovered with that horrible shooting. Brooklyn outscored Golden State 29-15 in transition and had fewer opportunities to get out and run, taking the ball out of the basket. Nine different nets scored in transition.